What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanted to show you guys another tool for my Kali Linux series. And today's tool is another application called Net Discover. And it's a very simple tool to use. And I wanted to walk you guys through how to actually use it on your system in order to discover devices on a given network. And just to give you a quick scenario, let's say you've gotten onto a network and you want to get some information about the live devices that are on the network, but you can use this net discover tool to gather information like IP addresses, as well as Mac addresses, and also the Mac vendor or the host name of that actual device on the network. So let's hop over to the website so I can give you guys a little bit of the information on this tool and then I'll walk through how to actually use it in order to discover devices on your network. So let's get to it. All right, so this is the GitHub for the Net Discover tool. And this tool has been included with Kali Linux for a very long time. And the reason why is because it's an awesome tool to actually give you some information, especially if you're going through like a discovery phase or a reconnaissance stage when trying to find systems on a given network. And so as you can see by the about, it says net discover, uh, ORP scanner, official repository. So this is the official repository for that tool that's included within Kali Linux. And if we scroll down, it gives you a little bit more information about the tool. It says, welcome to the official net discover repository since February 05, 2019. And it says net discover is a network address discovery tool developed mainly for th those wireless networks without DHCP servers. It also works on hubs, which is switch networks is based on ORP packets. It will send ORP requests and sniff for replies. So that's essentially how it works to gather that information. Now it also states it's my first public C tool. So don't be too hard with me. And that's coming from the developer. And it says if some part of the code looks like obfuscated or unreadable and feel free to send suggestions. So you can assist with this project being that it's open source and it's available to you. Uh, but yeah, it goes through talks about the build, uh, how to contact if you need to also if there's bugs, but in my opinion, this tool actually works pretty great. And like I said, it's been included with Kali Linux for a very long time. So let's hop over to our virtual machine and show you guys how to actually use this command. All right. So I'm logged into my virtual machine. This is Kali Linux 22. And just to quickly show you how to get to the tool through the start menu, so to speak, uh, we can hit start and then go down to uh, information gathering, and then we will go to routes analysis and that'll open up the net discover. And basically what it'll do is run net discover dash H, which you could have just opened up the terminal and ran net discover dash H. Now let's uh, zoom in a little bit on it. So you guys can kind of see, uh, what I'll cover, but basically, like I said, this application or tool is included with Kali Linux. It's been there for a very long time. Uh, there's a lot of options. Basically, here's the usage up here at the top. Uh, this breaks down how you actually use it if you want to. Um, and what I'll kind of go through is the first three options uh, should give you the most, you know, information. It's the easiest to run. But if you want to learn more, you can go through and read all of these options and figure out what will work best for you. But essentially the first option, let's go through, uh, so dash I, and basically what this is, is telling you, or you want to tell it to use a specific device. So let's say you have a Wi-Fi cord, you can specify that device, or if you want to use your ethernet cord, then you can specify that device. That's essentially what it's doing. It's just using a device to run the scan on whatever network that device is connected to. And one thing about running it using the, the eye with a device is it'll scan a whole bunch of IP addresses. And I'll show you guys that now. So, and the first thing we need to do though, before we run it is actually find out what that device name is. So we use the IP command. So IP a press enter. This will give us our devices on our system. So this is the loopback address up here. This is our ethernet connection. So ethos zero, that is our ethernet connection. As you can see, we have an IP address on our network, uh, IP version six, you know, all that information is there. And so what you want to do is put this device name, whatever device you want to use. So it could be a wireless cord. So wireless LAN zero, a lot of times is the name. Uh, but ethos zero is what we want to use. So let's type that in. Uh, so net 
discover and then dash i we want to show you that dash i option and then what you want to do is put etho zero and as you can see i have ran this command a couple of times just to verify what it was going to show on the network so just ignore it that's just the way z shell is it uses that history and it try to bring up options that you've ran in the past so that's why you're seeing the commands before i type them but if you've never used it before you're not gonna see all that information there for you until you run it the first time now like i said that's the device name so let's go down there and run it right fast and i forgot about this whenever you're running this especially uh using a device you have to use sudo uh, most people log into cali using root so you don't have to type in sudo if you're in a root account but it's best to use a sudo uh account in order to run these commands uh, instead of using that root account but let's go on and type in our pseudo password boom it'll use that device and it'll start scanning uh our network and it'll pull up all the live devices on the network and so as you can kind of see um it's going through other ip addresses or other uh classes of ip addresses as well so it's going to keep going and going and going and going uh which kind of doesn't make sense it probably should stick with the network that we're on but yeah it'll keep going and going and going until you stop it uh but as you can see it went through our regular network right off and as you can see it pulls in a lot of information let's actually stop it so i can uh you know highlight some of this stuff because it, it'll it'll trip by it still being running uh now it's, it's done or I, I stopped it but as you can see it went through everything on my network uh and it was using that device name uh anything that's connected to it and it's going through and connect uh trying to figure out what type of device the ip address the mac address uh the mac vendor you know host name if it can find it um you know what i'm saying and put that information up there and sorry about that i dragged it down <laughs> i dragged that information down so let's uh cancel that i kind of dragged it down to the terminal so uh when i had it all highlighted but essentially that's the information that you'll get from running that net discover so let's go down and clear right fast and i'll go down and show you guys other ways to actually run it so let's uh do a up arrow and go to net discover and let's run the h dash h again uh and let's take this pseudo off because we don't need it but i just wanted to show you guys the flags again that we can use and i wanted to show you guys the range so you can actually just put a specific range in you know how that device it just kept going and going and going well with a range you can specify you know the ip addresses on the network and we all know that by just running the ip uh space a and that'll give us the ip address that we're connected to and as you can see it's a dot 10 so 192.168.10.0 is also a 24 network so let's go down and um run it using a range so let's go sudo uh net discover and then dash or for range and then let's go down and type in our range of ip addresses so all we have to do is use that um I, the main ip address for this network so 192.168.10.0 and then 24 and let's go down and press enter and it'll run through scan all the alive uh systems and as you can see it's pretty quick uh, it all depends on how many hosts you got on your network but it's pretty quick uh, and you'll see up here at the top that it's finished and let's go down and close it out but as you can see you know it tries to pull up as much information as possible you know for each one of the devices that are live or in your network all right so that's pretty cool and then the next option i wanted to show you guys was basically how you can use a list so let's create a file right fast so let's go to the text editor and actually type in our ip address so 192.168.10.0 and then 24 let's say you want to check a bunch of networks let's say you want to check 192.168 i mean just another you know network or so and let's do 20. Dot zero dot uh and then four slash 24 boom i know that's the same you know subnet mask so uh let's go on and take it off but just wanted to show you guys you can you know schedule or set what you want to scan you know the ip addresses that you want to scan so let's go on and save this right fast and let's save it under our home directory that's fine and then we can put uh ip list dot 
txt and let's go down and save that and so boom let's go down and close it but if we look in our home directory and let's go back to home as you can see we got our ip list there and let's run the net discover dash h again just to check out how you actually do it but you can uh pull up a file basically scan a file and you just have to specify that file and so let's run through and do that now so all we got to do is type sudo uh net discover and i haven't done this one yet so let's back that off but dash l and then specify that file. So I'm gonna just put the whole path, Josh, and then IP list.txt, press enter, and I'll go through, run it against the IP addresses we have list there. And as you can see, it pulls in that same information uh, that we just did, you know, when we put it in there, but you can have a whole list, you know what I'm saying? And find the actual host on the network. So that's super cool, right? Now, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Go on and check out this tool, especially if you're looking to get into the cybersecurity field or if you just want to learn how some of these tools work within Kali Linux, then definitely check this one out and just play around with it on your home network and see what kind of information you get from the devices on your network. And like I said, this is a pretty awesome tool and it's mainly made for reconnaissance so you can get as much information about the devices on a given network. And then once you get past this point, you can see which systems, especially by understanding those vendor, uh, that vendor information, uh, you can understand if some of those devices may have vulnerabilities and you can test those systems to see if they have vulnerabilities and try to fix those vulnerabilities or if there is a patch for it or a fix or something like that. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it taking.